for cycle it means c3 plants c4 plants it means so in the process of photosynthesis carbohydrates are formed so in that process the first stable compound if contains three carbon compound then that is called c3 pathway or c3 cycle plants are called as c3 plants if the first stable compound in the process if formed or it contains four carbon compound those are called c4 plants the process is called c4 pathway so in our previous video we are completed about c3 cycle now let us discuss about c4 plants so it is also called as hatch slack pathway or beta carboxylation pathway so why because it is elaborated by hatch and slack so that it is called as hatch slack pathway and or beta carboxylation pathway right in this process uh, actually the occur jarutundi process ante these are occur mostly subtropical and tropical regions the plants which are grown in these areas the plants which are grown in subtropical regions and tropical regions those are they shows c4 plants c4 plants right so there it requires the temperature 30 to 45 degrees celsius it requires 30 to 45 degrees celsius and also these c4 pathway it is occur mostly 1500 angiospermic species which are belongs to 19 families right and in this process leaf shows Crange anatomy. It shows a crange anatomy. Crange means here it is a German word. Crange is a German word. The meaning of that uh, uh, German word is rith. Rith ante pula danda. Then rith garland ante right. Rith ante pula danda. It is a German word. So so that it is called as here bundle sheath cells. It is a bundle sheath cell. This is the leaf structure actually. So upper epidermis, lower epidermis, mesophyll cell, this is the bundle sheath cell, xylem and phloem. So here presence of bundle sheath cell, these are appear like a rith, one pula danda laga kanpisa nai. Pula danda laga kanpisa nai wala, German language lo pula danda nai kada manamu crange and tunam. Andhra lo wala dhani crange anatomy ani express chedan jari gindi. Manam goda dhani varthanam. I think kada hindu chi discuss chesu nama te kada. Chloroplast shows, right, dimorphism. Two types of chloroplasts are present. That is chloroplast dimorphism. Okay. This is the chloroplast of mesophyll cell, chloroplast of bundle sheath cell. So here, chloroplast mesophyll cell, mesophyll cell chloroplast, it is contains grana. Grana is present in mesophyll cell. And these plants are grana. Chloroplast is the chloroplast of bunches of thylakides called as a group of thylakides are called as grana. So grana structure can be seen. In the bundle sheath cells, there is no grana. So that is a granal chloroplast. So you can name a granal chloroplast. You can name a granal chloroplast. So that two types of chloroplasts are there. That is called chloroplast dimorphism. Chloroplast dimorphism. Then if first stable compound contains four carbons, then the plants are called as C4 plants. We are already discussed about C3 plants. So let us discuss about C4 plants, that is C4 cycle. So in this process, CO2 enter into the plant in the form of H2CO3 minus. So actually, in the case of the picture, we have to say bundle sheath cells and mesophyll cells. Two cells are present. In these two cells contains chloroplasts. So this is the mesophyll cell and it is a bundle sheath cell. And this is the cytosol. Cytosol of? mesophyll cell and this one is chloroplast of mesophyll cell and this is the chloroplast of bundle sheath cell so two cells are manaku photosynthesis and so two and so two cells are called carbon fixation and so two cells are involved in c4 cycle right so initially co2 enter into cytosol of mesophyll cell in the form of h2co3 minus there phospho enol pyruvic acid Phospho enol pyruvic acid taken that carbon dioxide and it convert into oxaloacetic acid which, which is a 4 carbon compound. So oxaloacetic acid and the okay, 4 carbon compound. So this is the first stable compound in C4 pathway. So that this pathway called as C4 cycle or C4 pathway. So these plants are called C4 plants. Here phospho enol pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound. So this taken by CO2 and it converted into oxaloacetic acid. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme P 
PEP carboxylase enzyme. PEP carboxylase. Actually, in cytosol of the mesophyll cell, there is no Rubisco enzyme. Only PEP carboxylase enzyme is present. So that phosphoenal pyruvic acid combines with CO2 to form 4 carbon compound that is oxaloacetic acid. Now that oxaloacetic acid is present in cytosol that is enter into chloroplast of mesophyll cell. Oxaloacetic acid enter into chloroplast of mesophyll cell. This is the chloroplast of this mesophyll cell. There it undergoes reduction reaction. So by taking malate undergoes reduction. So oxaloacetic acid convert into malic acid. In this process NADPH is utilized. NADPH is utilized. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme dehydrogenase. Dehydrogenase. So hydrogens are removed from the NADPH that hydrogen taken by OAA oxaloacetic acid and it convert into malate. So malate also a 4 carbon compound. Now malate is formed in formed in chloroplast of mesophyll cell. Chloroplast of mesophyll cell when NADPH is utilized. Right now that malic acid migrates towards chloroplast of bundle sheath cell. Chloroplast of bundle sheath cell. It is a 4 carbon compound. So malic acid converts to or transfer to chloroplast of bundle sheath cell. There the malic acid or malate it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation reaction. It undergoes malate undergoes oxidative decarboxylation reaction to form pyruvic acid. To form pyruvic acid. Result of this oxidation process, hydrogens are removed from the substrate malate. That hydrogens are taken by NADP plus and convert into NADPH2. So here one NADPH is formed. Right? And Another reaction is there decarboxylation. So malic acid undergoes oxidative decarboxylation. So decarboxylation re result is one CO2 molecule is removed from the substrate. One CO2 molecule is removed from the substrate. That CO2 enter into C3 cycle which are occur in chloroplast of bundle sheath cell. So bundle sheath cells are C3 cycle coda jarutundi. Right? And here pyruvic acid, one carbon is removed from the substrate malate which is a 4 carbon compound here pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound pyruvic acid is a 3 carbon compound now pyruvic acid is present in chloroplast of the bundle sheath cell that pyruvic acid transfer to chloroplast of the mesophyll cell that pyruvic acid converted transfer to chloroplast of the mesophyll cell there it convert into phosphoenal pyruvic acid phosphoenal pyruvic acid in the presence of the enzyme pyruvic dikinase here the enzyme is malic enzyme oxidative decarboxylation of malic acid in the, occur in the presence of malic enzyme so pyruvic acid is formed that pyruvic acid migrates towards the chloroplast of the bundle C cell uh, sorry mesophyll cell there pyruvic acid convert into phosphoenal pyruvic acid in the presence of the enzyme pyruvate dikinase pyruvate dikinase here two ATPs are utilized there two ATPs are utilized AMP right pyruvic dikinase so pyruvic acid undergoes uh, phosphorylation reaction to form phosphoenal pyruvic acid phosphoenal pyruvic acid there two ATPs are utilized now phosphoenal pyruvic acid is formed in chloroplast of the mesophyll cell that pyruvic acid phosphoenal pyruvic acid transfer towards cytosol of mesophyll cell and again that pyruvic acid okay right in just need converts it taken carbon dioxide to form oxaloacetic acid to form oxaloacetic acid it is a continued process so in this process NADPH is utilized and it is formed utilized formed these are equal balanced Balanced. How many how many ATPs? How many NADPH are formed in C4 cycle? So see here, in chloroplast of bundle sheath cell, C3 cycle is occur. So result of C3 cycle for the formation of complete uh, glucose molecule, how many ATPs are required in C3 cycle? We are already discussed, right? 
Kelvin cycle. So C3 cycle it requires 18 ATP and 12 NADPH in C3 cycle. This is the ATP and NADPH two are required in C3 cycle, right? Here these two are balanced. So net NADPH it is required in net ATP NADPH two are 12 in C4 cycle also. So there is no formation of NADH two and there is no utilization of NADH two because they are balanced, right? ATPs here conversion of pyruvic acid to phosphoenol pyruvic acid. There are two ATPs are utilized. Two ATPs are utilized for one CO2. When one CO2 enter into uh, C4 cycle, there are two ATPs are required. Then for the formation of complete carbon dioxide, sorry, carbohydrates, carbohydrates, it requires six carbons. It means six cycles are occurred. So six to the twelve ATPs are required for only C4 cycle. Twelve ATPs. 12 ATPs already here 18 ATPs so C4 cycle 12 ATP 18 ATPs and 12 ATPs totally 30 ATPs are required for C4 cycle and 12 NADH2s this is the result of C4 cycle, result of C4 cycle.